you know, I asked you this question, but I, I, I angled it toward artists. I, I, want, I want to talk about managers, executives, the people behind the scenes. You mentioned some of the greats, Irvin Azar, probably one of, if not the best to ever do it, the Scooter Bronze of the world, uh, Chris Lighty, RIP, um, Shaquem, another great manager yourself. What are some of the common traits that all of you guys have in common that you know from the gate when you're looking at young talent, this guy's got it. He's going to be one of the great managers in the game. Um, I, think, I think that you can – sometimes you can see the hustle in you in, in a person you can see they want it and and you can kind of see nothing's going to stop it from happening and if you're smart and you're me and you're smart or you're shocking me you're smart you're like yo i'd rather have this kid on my team than competition because that's sometimes just just that like some managers grow within management companies they didn't come in off the street trying to be hired as a manager like mona love mona scott mona was chris's assistant and graduated to becoming president of Flock Violator and management because she learned how to manage being Chris's assistant, which made her good because she was, and that's how she grew. Mine was different. I came in off the street, was told, we're about to make you a manager. So I was, I learned how to be a manager by listening in, from Chuck and Emin, and I'd go sit in Leo's office, stuff like that. But I think when you're looking at the next kid that wants to be a manager, you got to see that eye of the tiger. You need to see that he's willing to go harder he's willing to run through a building for his artists no isn't going to be no um i have a gentleman justin lamont um justin hit me on twitter one day this is 15 years ago now probably justin said i'm graduating from howard um i i i know who you are i want to figure out how i could work for you blah 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 hit him back you know come by the office such and such Sit down, let's see, maybe we can get you an internship. Justin takes the train from DC up to New York to meet with me on whatever day I told him I was gonna be there. I forgot, kind of like I messed up us and I was hitting you yesterday, I completely uh-huh, forgot uh-huh. the days. And so I'm in LA, Justin's in my office in New York. My sister's like, some boy, some kid named Justin's here. Well, Justin, for he said he hit you on Twitter. I was like, oh snap, shorty, I told him to meet me, right? I said, y'all interview him and then I'll interview him when I come back, hung up. They interviewed him. When I got back, I said, yo, what happened to the kid? How was he? They was like, he's really impressive. Good kid. He graduated school. Blah, blah, blah. He comes back up. I sit with him. I'm the same impression. Good young kid. He's got some fire to him. He's willing, obviously, to do the work. He got on the train up here a couple of times to come meet with me. I'm like, all right. Gave him a job as an intern. He went from intern to assistant. At a point, I left the company that he was at, that I was at. I left, he left when I left. Um, he had found an artist and I didn't get it. It was his artist. He was like, I got this artist. I'm working on it. I was like, all right, let me know anything I can do. He wasn't on me to do everything. He just was letting me know I got an artist I believe in. See, the difference between a lot of these young kids and even Justin and, and, and even some of these managers is I'm a resource. I'm not the person that has to do the work. Don't come to me thinking I'm going to do the work that you should be doing for your artists. You need to do the work. You need to get out there and cake some nose. You need to get out there and be in the studio. You need to be out there and do something. Get it from zero to two or something before you come talk to me. Just took it from zero to like eight before he even explained who Ari Lennox was and this artist that he had found and that he had developed. And he went and got a deal and got J. Cole to sign. And now she was signed in the scope. And... He did it from the ground up and he managed, he, he, he created the Ari Lennox um, business and made her a star and everything. I can't say the day I met him, I saw he was going to be that, but I saw he had that hustle in him and he's willing to do the work. And when he got an opportunity, he did the work. And now Justin is a young version of me out there making deals, doing managing artists. He's, he's a legitimate manager. That's dope. So, I love that story. That's dope. You know, before and every assistant I've ever had is a manager. 
Every Say assistant I've ever had, every assistant I've ever had, not every, 80%, 85% of the assistants, and I, I, I say assistants because I'm old and that's the word we use, but I also used to like to call them my managers. They've all left to go and do either management or start their own businesses or whatever, because my job is not to hold you back. My job is to get you to help me be a better me while we work together. But while we're doing that, can I help you be the you you want to be? Because again, that's what we started with. If you each become something, my tree is bigger. And I get to reap the fruits of your success later because we all fall off at some point. And how far you fall is based on how you treat people while you're on the top. If you are a piece of shit while you were rising, when you fall off, people will look and watch you fall down and listen to you go thump. But if you're a real person, if people really fuck with you and you've been good spirited and they want you to do well, someone will stick an arm out and your fall won't be as bad. They'll catch you. They'll throw you an artist. They'll throw you a consulting check. They'll throw your name in a room that you're not in. But that starts with how you treat people and whether you're open to letting people grow and giving them the support they need or are you an asshole who don't talk to nobody when you go in the building or don't know how to apologize when you, you curse somebody out, but it wasn't that tight. Then the fall is, is longer. I've, I've been hot, I've been cold, I've been hot, I've been cold. But I survived because even when I'm ice cold, I still get phone calls. Somebody's gonna call me about something. Am I excited about it? Do I wanna manage? Maybe not. Maybe that's not the look for me. But I gotta appreciate the fact that I got the call. Somebody thought enough of me, our relationship, or the work that I've done that they wanted to call me to work with somebody they had or they, or they want me to work with talent that they thought needed a good manager. That's that's really what you want to be as a manager. You want to be somebody that people fuck with, that people recommend, that people say, yo, he's a good person to go rock with. And then it's, just, then it's back on you. Can you do the job stuff? What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.